Hello, uh, my name is Bin Bai. Uh, uh, this is my work uh, done for the uh, East Wind exhibition. I was uh, educated uh, in art school in China and as well as here in UniSA last uh, in 2020 amid the, the pandemic. After I got the uh, idea of how to express uh, the artist, the way how they look at the pandemic, um, I start to re recall or re remember uh, my childhood experiences because uh, I was uh, uh, born, uh, born and bring up uh, in uh, east part of Tibet. So we have some traditional ritual to pay tribute to the deceased and also pay tribute to the ancestral spirit. Usually they are on the top of the mountain, so uh, there's a once unique, a, spe a special um, object, which is print on the, uh, with the wood block printing on the paper, and people will, you know, uh, three, uh, splash those uh, uh, prayer flags, paper-based one, uh, on, on the top of the mountain where they believe the the spirit of their uh, sister and also the, the pass, people passed away, their uh, souls are lingering around. So this is the uh, uh, one of my uh, 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 how the initial idea of how to create this uh, space horse, this, this piece. Because of my research, uh, I was focused on, on the true identity of art uh, in Tibet. Therefore, I'm looking at more ancient period of time when art first being created uh, by our ancestors. Like, uh, I was always curious about how could they uh, construct or create those images with just simple lines and uh, the color. And uh, I was also in, uh, curious about the level of their awareness of looking at those natural uh, elements. And, uh, and therefore giving all those character to those uh, symbolic animals or mythical or masters. Well, this cultural being put into a new environment, what, what, what is the outcome or what chemical reaction you will, you will have? For example, I brought those um, archaic uh, uh, East Asia aesthetic principles and bring into Australia. And uh, for people immersed in in the Western art um, world, I'm also very curious how, how will they look these uh, this works and uh, what, what is their feedback or their response to it. The cultural uh, communication, that's the first important thing because as an artist we have the, uh, the capacity to bring out uh, those questions and present it to the viewer and the viewer will have uh, their have a chance to, to, to have a dialogue with themselves, between themselves and the, and the works done by not only me, but all the rest of the uh, artists here in this, uh, in this gallery. So that's the first major task for me. And secondly, uh, I think uh, there's a responsibility to be able to tell the stories, because once we can tell the story, people will get the I essence of the story and therefore this, this culture will be carried on by our next generation. I think that's the second uh, idea I, uh, or the prospect, uh, expectation I have for this, uh, for, for, for my creation of art.